Hey guys, so I'm gonna do a recipe, uh, it's called the Alpine Pasta. Um, I read it online and I figured I would try it to see if I like it, um, and put it towards backpacking. Obviously, I am that outdoors. I am on the boat right now. Um, I live here full time. I live on a crappy boat. And, uh, you got <laughs> that all mess. Well, the recipe requires, um, onions. Or green onions, which are the, I think, the longer, the long sprout onion looking things. But, um, I didn't want to have to go buy some, so I ended up just grabbing the onion out of the uh, garden. Figured, what the hell. I'm obviously not going to use all of that. Um, then it requires, uh, sun-dried tomatoes. Um, I've actually never used these before, so we shall see. Um... I'm not really interested in, you know, how much of whatever I need to use because this is a test. Um, the recipe is online. I'll link it or you can look it up, etc. Uh, I'm just going to do this off whim. Um, it requires cheese, which I can see that being a problem backpacking. But I guess, I mean, I've heard through hikers backpack with cheese and have no problem. Um... But uh, they require some weird cheese, and I was like, no, I'm good. So I got this cheese, because it was on sale. And I figured I would use it everywhere. And then uh, it also requires the main portion. This, the urban butter rice and pasta blend in a delicate butter-flavored and herb sauce. Mmm. Possibly. Um, it does require, uh, some kind of, like, pop, like, this meat or something like that. I forgot what the meat actually is. But I couldn't find any, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use summer sausage. Which I've never used summer, summer sausage at all before. So this is going to be an experiment. We shall see. And, um, the reason why I am using some of the different ingredients like this and the cheese is because when you're backpacking, you may not be able to find that weird type of meat or that weird type of cheese. You may be just using something that is locally at a at a uh, gas station or something. I don't even know if summer sausage is at a gas station. Alrighty. So I have my onions, which I'm not going to use. I'm gonna just going to put that back in the refrigerator. Um... This is dangerous, and I have my trusty uh, cat stove, which actually hasn't really been used. Um, I don't have anything to put it out when I'm done, so I am going to use the Bush Gardens infamous cup that I drink from. This is my coffee cup. And it fits perfectly, so I'm just going to use that. See? Ah! I say dump stuff. Um... So, uh, and then I'm going to use my grease pan, which obviously is a lot of, a lot of water usage in that, but oh well. Oops. And, you know, here's the top. Whatever. I'm going to boil water in that. And while that is boiling, I'm going to chop up some sausage. And, uh, that's tea. What am I doing? And I'm going to put this in a baggie. I think this is a little too small. I'm not sure. We'll see. I'm experimenting. We got this. Alrighty. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, bring a fire extinguisher very, very close to me. And uh, go ahead and uh, cook this. So I have my fuel. Yay. I don't even I think it was the yellow one. I think it's the yellow bottle of heat. I forgot what it was. I don't know how much to use. I don't... Honestly... I'm not very skilled at... Yeah, that, that seems like a whole crap load. Uh, I'll put it out. That is fairly hot. <laughs> so I'll just go ahead and let it burn a little bit. I do have water. I should probably put some water in there. Yeah, that's like three cups. Three, four 
try to kill myself. <laughs> you catch the house on fire. Oh, this is dangerous. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but this thing, every time we lift it up, it like, woof. it's a big fireball. I think you might be able to hear it at least. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the onions in here. Like so. Mmm. Doesn't all look good. Kind of. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut my sausage. Which, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use my cooking knife. Not my cooking knife, but like my heavy ass Walmart brand knife. <laughs> yeah. When I bought this thing, I was like, oh, it's a knife. I'm going to carry it everywhere. Not thinking that it is like eight ounces. This sucker is heavy. And I just started learning how to like figure out weight. And, you know, when you're backpacking, you don't want to carry an eight ounce knife. So, yeah. Ah, I'm going to burn. Let me make sure this thing is even still on. Yep. Oh, summer sausage. Mmm, never had it before. Uh, why is there that on there? Mmm, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut like quarter, a little piece like that. Mmm, smells interesting. Okay, I'm going ahead and cut this. You can't see what I'm doing because I'm a dummy and I don't have space. Yeah, I'll just kind of cut it like this. Um, part of living on a boat, you never have space. <laughs> Alrighty. So, uh, you cut this into chunks. And you add it into your food. And part of the reason why I'm experimenting with uh, different foods and trying to figure out what uh, I like and what I don't like uh, it's because I am hitting a section trail of the AT next year. And uh, I am a terrible cook. When it, Well, I'm not a terrible cook. I'm one of those cooks that I don't know how to put stuff together. And um, if it was just me, I would buy fast food, um, already made food, uh, stuff that is just like, oh, oh, well, there we go. You know, put together. And I don't have to do anything but eat it. So, I'm trying to teach myself now, six months ahead, uh, <laughs> what I like and what I don't like when I when it comes to backpacking. And uh, that way, you know, I'll carry some recipes and like a, you know, little piece of paper or whatever, just so I can know what they are offhand and stuff that it would be easier to take while backpacking. Like this recipe. I'm not so sure about it. Um, I can, I mean, I've heard people bring in summer sausages, uh, so I could see where that come. I've heard people bring in cheese, and I know a lot of people bring these. So, I can see this being made. I can see this being made, and uh, people enjoying it. But, we'll see. Mmm. Sausage. How do you like my cutting? Okay. Oops. I think my dog might be hungry. <laughs> and that is uh, my pile. Now, I have a feeling uh, I am not going to be able to finish any of this um, because I'm making this for dinner. I have to go to work tonight. So I'm going to make this for dinner and, uh, you know, just eat it. And I figured I'd make a video of it. Okay, so I'm uh, going to eat it for dinner tonight. Uh, I was going to go camping this weekend, but calling for rain and uh, 
normally, you know, I should be over, I should be all like, yeah, I'll hike in the rain, yeah, completely awesome, totally. But I'm going with a newbie who has never hiked before. He's hiked a total of like a mile and a half. And that was only because we took him last time and it rained. <laughs> so I don't really particularly want to hike in the rain. I'm going to avoid it. Yeah, this stuff kind of funky. I'm going to kind of leave it crocky. Or crocky. A little, little lopsided a little bit just to try and get this thing to stay lit. I may just use the stove. Um, it's just my uh, experiment. It doesn't really matter. But uh, anyway, so you put all the ingredients in here. Um, then you stick this entire thing into your bag. Um, well, the ing uh, the recipe says to, like put water in here uh, with your sun dried tomatoes and like let them dehydrate a little bit, and then you put then you like mix this into a different pot. But no. <laughs> If I'm, the whole point of, uh, you know, backpacking is I want to be lazy, um, kind of lazy, you know, I don't particularly want to, uh, stick that in another pot and have to wash this pot. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and stick half of it in here and let, yeah, we'll see how it works. Awesome, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I do not have a cozy... Uh, I have the stuff to make cozies, but I haven't got around to doing it yet. Food! Yeah, stick some in here. Like I said, I don't know how many I want. Just until I think it looks good. Seal it back up, stick it back up. And I guess if you're a section hiker, hiking... Bring in some of these. These don't weigh very much. Maybe, uh, hmm, three ounces. Probably about four ounces considering the, the bag. Um, but, uh, you know, these are two dollars, three dollars. Sorry, can't see. And, um, this, this might actually be able to add in some, like, nutrition into your, you know, your simple meals. Uh, you know, if you're just making ramen, put some of these in it. Awesome, right? Um... These are readily available at, like, stores and stuff. Um, you know, they're not terrible. I would just worry about the, the acid in them. Okay, I might just use my stove. Yep. Talk about it. I'm going to use my stove. And that's how you, uh, take it out of alcohol. You have your onions, you have your sausage in this bag. There's a lot of meat in here. Um, I guess if you're through hiking, it would be okay. Then you're gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and just use like half of this. So I feel like this is way too much um, for one meal for like non hiking. Maybe if you're fully hiking, you'd eat this in a heartbeat. These are only like a buck, by the way. So I understand why people like these now. So here's the bag. I'm gonna put half of it in. Now it's a little more than half, but it's half. See? Hmm. Yeah. I think it might be okay. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. Okay. And I'm just gonna seal this up and stick it in the refrigerator. Where my water continues to boil. A thousand years later. Alrighty, so uh, after 
a very long uh, time lapse. This is finally boiling by the sound of the uh, lovely noise. Um, at this point, I'm going to pour it in here and uh, I'm going to wrap it up in a towel because I don't have a, a cozy. And I figured a towel would probably be okay for right now. I shall see. Then probably another time lapse <laughs> while uh, this stuff cooks. Okay, let's uh, try to burn myself, right? Da -da -da. Woo, that gets a little hot. That's too hot. Okay. So... Mmm. Delicious. I don't know if that's enough, but... Okay, so towel time. And for anybody else doing this, this stuff gets super hot. <laughs> Just so you know. Yep, towel time. More video.